Figured why not, right? We're live. <laughs> <laughs> we are live, live on Yay, my page, live on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, I will see let how you... nice and clean your area looks, and then look at this. <laughs> I am. Oh, the background. I'm talking about the canvas. I'm like, I don't. No, I'm no, 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 no. Uh, no, just all the junk I have there. Uh, it doesn't well, look as neat as yours, but I'm getting I've it. had time. Yes. I mean, mine was looking like yours about a week ago. So, <laughs> yeah, quarantine has done wonders for my workspace. Yes. Well, that's what I'm doing <laughs> over the next week as I'm cleaning my mm -hmm. whole studio out because I don't even have move, uh, movement to paint. You know right. what I'm saying? I mean, right. I'm like sequestered in. This uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Well, hey guys, I see we do have a couple of viewers. Hi, Jamie Davis. Um, when you guys come on, say hi. Um, we are live here on my page, Lotus Siri Designs, and we are also live simultaneously on YouTube. So if you are watching from YouTube, especially say hello and, and let us know that you are watching from YouTube. I would love to see if this works. Yeah, um, yeah something new, right? Right. So you guys, Yesterday, Carolyn Muncy was so wonderful, and she uh, joined me yesterday on a live, and we painted the backgrounds to these canvases. Here, let me turn mine to mm -hmm. mine. And we're going to take it a step further today and do the florals, and we're going to be following uh, Carolyn's explicit instruction, because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I am your student. There Just we go. Give me all the knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's going to be fun. I will tell you this. If you're following along, you need to have some artist brushes. Um, I just go to wherever it is I want to go to, and they have artist brushes. Let me get my little, my little bag here. Um, this is my little pot of artist brushes so <laughs> i just got all kinds of stuff in there and i just did a boo-boo because i had paint so here's what i did bianca remember the little ice trays good idea and then all my colors are in my ice trays that's brilliant and then they don't look like this. <laughs> okay, so as soon as I can safely leave my home, ice trays it is. Yeah, because what happens is that at, when you do it on, you know, on a plate, yeah. they will kind of mingle around, you right. know what I'm saying? And then as you move and stuff, then they even get more mingled and then you're not having a true color and you're not able to mix a true color. So what I found, you know, just started doing was putting it in those ice trays right. and it keeps it separate. And then I take a paper plate and I do my blending. So that's just a little, little tip to keep our colors that's, that's a brilliant separated tip. and because you don't use that much paint really. In no, essence. I found yesterday that I ended up wasting paint, which is okay, yeah. but I wouldn't right. want to do that on a long-term basis. Exactly. And mm -hmm. so with a little bitty ice tray thing, then you can, I think I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 dollars out of that. Right. So wow. let, me give, let me give you the basics. Okay. I bought all of these because. Oh, yeah. Well, I just perfect. figured I didn't want any surprises. <laughs> yeah, perfect. That's perfect. Absolutely. Um, and we're probably going to use um, several. Let me pick out here. Um, if you've got <laughs> some type of a what I call a liner brush. Okay. And that's just kind of the thin, long brush. So not a pointed tip. No, we also need the pointed tip one. Um, well, I have a liner, but it doesn't seem to be as thick as yours. No, that's okay. That's okay. okay. This is good. Just something like this. Um, and I'm putting I'm putting the ones that I think I'll use on my just like you're doing. Yeah, right on okay. my easel. Okay. And we'll probably do you have a one that's a slanted tip kind of? <laughs> Maybe something like that. 
Is that about medium in size, you'd say? Yeah. Medium, okay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. And then do you have something in your arsenal and a size doesn't really matter, but if it's a little stiff, maybe, and these are used, so that's kind of thick. Is that just a flat one that's been like a tooth? <laughs> it looks like a toothbrush that's like three months old. <laughs> <laughs> it's a flat one that I've absolutely. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I do have a, a new flat one. Well, that's okay. Do you have an older brush that would be? I can check. Yeah, check and see if you got a gunky older brush. Okay. Just something that's a little, that's going to be just a little thicker. It doesn't have to be as thick as this, but in some of the things that we're going to do, <coughs> it might help us. Okay. Um. <coughs> it can even be this size, Bianca, just, just something like this. Let me put it up for you and see. And if you don't, it's okay. We'll yeah. I mean, I have an angled that I've used. Yeah, quite a bit. that looks better. It's angled. Is that okay? That's okay. Okay. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't so realize there was a use for these when they get this way. Yeah. They're At this awesome. point, they become disposable. Yeah. At My this point, don't throw them away because they're great. Oh. <laughs> treasure okay yeah right. they're a treasure and you'll keep them for years and you're gonna pounce and just do some awesome things with them <laughs> so i got several um, messages and i got several people talking about um, them um painting their background and uh -huh. um, yes i got a few too did you I and did. so people are there probably if you're on here and you're going to be painting with us, let us know. Yeah, we would love painting to know. with us. Absolutely. Uh -huh. So you guys, I did a live, just did a live on Dixie Bell. Some of you might have been on there and I'm working on a big on wire. So I'm like squeezed into my place. And so you're either going to see me or you're going to see the canvas. And I figured you'd probably want to see the canvas, right? <laughs> So I'm going to switch over so we can get started. So here is my canvas. And and you see you see Bianca's right there and she has this little thing right here. That and blob. I, that blob. Yeah, it came out like a blob. I put too much paint on my brush, but I figured that's okay. We're learning, it's, right? It's okay. It's <laughs> totally okay. And so what we are going to do, let me grab me a um paintbrush here and i don't I'm have any colors ready so right so get you some caviar okay uh let me see what else we want caviar we want uh aberdeen aberdeen whatever that color's called aubergine 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 yes <laughs> Okay, and we want holy guacamole. Okay, let me unplug. Hold on a sec. Okay. Can you still hear me? Because why you can, getting... you might get feedback because now you're on the speaker, but I can grab what you're telling me. So caviar, okay. holy guacamole. So, yeah, holy guacamole, uh, colored greens, coffee bean, caviar. Um, and I would like, and I'm looking for mine. I thought, oh yeah, uh, kudzu. If you've got some kudzu or a lighter green, it doesn't have to be kudzu. It can be farmhouse green is a great color. Uh, I, actually, I, I have I, all the colors. <laughs> okay, well I think well, I might like, be a brand ambassador. <laughs> there you go. I think I might try to. Grab my farm farmhouse green. Okay. Because that's a fab that's a fabulous highlight green. And I'm tearing mine open. So do you want me just to put a little bit on the plate? Yep, just put you a little bit on your plate or open your drawer and use your your 
whatever, whatever uh, floats your boat. All right. So we are going to Susan. We have uh, Susan, Paula, um, Llewellyn. I think I said that right. Um, I think it's Llewellyn. Is it Llewellyn? Am I saying it right? It's Llewellyn, yes. It is. Okay. I Hi, have a great name for me for so long. <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> Gotta see my canvas. And Trisha, we have Jane from YouTube. Hello. Hey, Trisha. So glad you joined us. I love the colors. I love how they mingled and I love the movement on this. It's yeah, really, it's really pretty. pretty. I'm okay. Awesome. Like, and I'm then awesome. you're, this is for our dark colors. We're going to start with our greenery first. And when you're ready, you tell me. Okay. I'm making a, a paint mess. Oh, that's okay. I did too. I just I dropped, what I are dropped you, some of mine on the floor while we were you talking. Do you your paint in like uh, maybe condiment bottles or anything? I was thinking about doing that. You know what? I tell you what I have. Um, let me show you. And I absolutely, a lot of people put them in the FIFO bottles. Yes. But I don't like those as well as these. Okay, and yes. And they've got the flip lid, and you can get them in the quart, the 16 ounce. I think they even come in an eight ounce, but I'm not for sure. And I'm telling you what, the reason why I like these better than the FIFO is because you can close them really well. Whereas yes. with, with the FIFO, I feel like the more you use them, the uh, less effective they become. Uh huh. And your, paint, your paint kind of dries. I yeah, think. that was my dry. So I didn't buy those. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Okay, I think I have a plate, a plate of leaves. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna Pamela go says my... she's late. Don't worry, Pamela. You are totally fine. We are just getting started. Yes. Hello, Cindy and Susan. I'm glad that you found us. You did not miss us. Um, you guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'm going to try to keep an eye on the comments and um, shout them out to Carolyn as we go. Um, don't be shy. This is for you guys as much as it is for me. All right. So we're going to dip a paintbrush. I've just got a plain, it's a flat, just a flat paintbrush. It's it's not an edge one, but if you want to use the the um angled one you can use an angled brush too you okay. know i'll just grab that one yes yeah this one for me is just a flat and um so some of you are asking what's this glob right here okay so it's going to make sense as we paint the reason why i put this in in all of the dark is that as i paint out and i paint um, our leaves and different things like that, it's going to look almost like it's backlit. At least that's the plan. <laughs> if it looks, if it looks like a glob, we'll paint it in. <laughs> so I'm just going to lay my brush on. I've got it loaded with um, um, holy guacamole. Did you just and, do holy or? Well, no, I've got holy guacamole and uh, colored greens on there. Okay. Why and am I so nervous, gonna... everybody? <laughs> oh, don't be nervous. And you did, did you just do a half and half? I did one on one side, one on the other side. And it doesn't really matter because you can come back and work with it. Um, you can come back. This is just the beginning stage, you guys. All we're going to do is we're going to add in some leaves down here. Carolyn, are you able to pull your camera back just a hair? Oh, yes. There we go. Okay. I'm going to have to study your brush strokes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So here we go. And I can bring you guys, well, not up much more, honestly. So here we go. We're going to do... Um, 
uh, holy guacamole on one side. Uh huh. And so you've got it loaded and uh, collard greens on the other side. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to go, let's just go down and then pick it up, go down on the other side. We're just going to make a little leaf and then maybe bring that out a little bring bit. Okay. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. Here we go, everybody. Susan Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, I'm just going to do it. Can I see you do one more? <laughs> yes. Yes. So, and when you get, when you get up, we're doing a little, I, I'm going to let this one kind of run off the canvas, right? Uh-huh. And so okay, so all it is, look, all it is, is mm -hmm. down and then come to the other side and down. Okay. All right. You know, and we're going to change it up. You know, we will change it up as we go. Because not all leaves look and like that, right? Stiff. Brand new brush is very stiff. Oh, yeah. Let's try it again. Okay. Down. Yep. Down. Yep. And up. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You guys, I did it. <laughs> you did it. Yes. Okay. So you can kind of see um, the highlight here uh -huh. that I'm doing right here. And all I'm doing, Bianca, is I am putting the tip of my brush a little bit into kudzu. Do you have kudzu or something light? I, I do. Okay. So just, just put it in there and go on one side and ha add just a little light on there. Okay. Can you see how that just mm -hmm. added? That really did something, right? Yeah. And then we're going to add, um, oh, I didn't tell you Colonel Mustard, did I? Nope, but that's okay. I can grab it. Okay. And all painting is, you guys, is highlights and lowlights and lines. And it's all it is. And so what we're going to do is you are going to, and, and you can make them variable sizes. They don't have to be the same. I have to tell you, I've tried leaves before, but these are very, much easier. And you might even want to add, look at this, Bianca. I am putting in a little bit of plum crazy in there. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. All right. Now, are you keeping your highlights on one side of the leaf or are you just changing it up? Well, actually, you should keep it on one side of the leaf, but I kind of didn't. And, and and would the theory be to keep it on one side because of the light coming down? Yes, you, the okay. theory would be to keep it on the left side because, well, for me, my light is coming in from the left and coming down. Right. That's where my light is coming in. So it's all according to you how detailed you want to get with your leaves. Um, you can get very detailed. You know, I mean, you can take you a little liner brush and come in here and line these puppies out. Oh, wow. Look at the definition. Yeah. And, and all I'm doing is I've got this little, this little pointy brush right here. This is the little liner brush right here. Mm -hmm. And then what I want to do is when I bring it on, I want to just kind of turn it. I'm kind of taking my brush, Bianca, look, mm -hmm. um, I'm taking it and I'm just kind of turning it like that. And it, oh, okay. so then that way you're not getting this straight line. Right. It's, it's irregular and actually more authentic. Exactly. I love it. So, you know, you're getting more movement and let your paint just kind of, uh, you know, kind of um, fade out sometimes and that's okay too you know so you, when you say fade out um there's not so much on my brush yeah okay yeah so i mean it it you know you can put you know more on 
you know, like I said, you can get as detailed as you want. You can come back in here with, with um, caviar, you know, and put some little shading in. You can, you know, but I mean, at this point, let's just get them on there. Right. You know? I, and clearly I woke up, work at a much slower pace. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I don't, <laughs> well, I don't want to get ahead of you because, you know, um, it really is, it, it gets to the point where you can do them pretty fast. You yes. know, I don't even worry about too much of even how they look, to be honest with you. I mean, you know, yes. as long as I've got the general thing of them, you know, it, it doesn't. You know, I think that's the one problem that people have with painting is that they get they get so scared of it that they think, oh, my goodness, you know, it's got to look perfect. Well, does it look perfect in nature? Are all right. the leaves exactly the same? They're not. And so what we're going to do and is I'm going to load my keep loading my brush up here and I'm just going to start laying laying in these. And I want you to just stop a second and watch because what's going to happen is I'm going to put a little bit of coffee bean, a little bit of black with my um, holy guacamole. And what's going to happen is you're going to start getting the feel of just foliage here, you know. Um, and I'm going to use it until I use all of my paint almost because I want as I go out here. I want those to kind of fade away. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Maybe it does. down here, maybe down here, they're going to be more faded, you know. And then, um, so just kind of do that. I'm going to wait for you to kind of get that corner. It's kind of hard for me to see exactly what you're doing. Okay. Should I move my camera up or? Can you do that so I can see what you're doing? Yeah. I look at my hands. <laughs> Can you tell I painted today? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my that hands way, totally kind of see, like that. and maybe you might want to even go in with a. Uh, once you get some of those, you can kind of see. Let me put this more on mine. You can kind of see down here how that we've got this kind of going around here. Mm -hmm. You know, so now that I've got and you can kind of see that maybe I've got a leaf that's going to come in here, just, you know, oh, on, on top of these, you know what I'm saying? You don't want them to all be going the same way. Now we're going to fill this in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to start winging it. Yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> wing it. Okay. Just wing it. That's what this is all about. You wing it, and I wing it. Okay. And I'm winging. We'll have, you're a right wing, I'm a left wing, and we'll just be flying <laughs> high. <laughs> and we're just flying here, just laying in some leaves, laying in just some stuff here. And you might want to go in um, to a few different colors. Uh, a color that I really like is a uh, rusty nail. Yeah, you know, I love rusty nail, and it's 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 going to come in here and kind of look nice. Well, I had barn red handy. <laughs> oh, you did? I did. I tossed some barn red in there because why not, right? Oh, good. Awesome. So you can just kind of see. You're just getting a plethora of colors there. Oh, wow. I mean, that really makes a difference. Yeah, it really does. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can hear my dogs barking, I bet. <laughs> Something's going on. Yeah. Well, they're kind of outside, and I... I put them outside so I don't, uh, well, what's going on here?
Um, okay, so we've got a little bit of our greenery on there. Okay. So I'm going to get a liner brush. And you can grab you a little bit of a liner brush. And this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a liner brush for those okay. of you who are on. And I am going to dip it. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can you can choose. I'm going to, probably going to dip it in holy guacamole and um, uh, oh, what was the color I just said? I always forget the names of the colors. <laughs> there, there. Yes, I struggled. Do you do that? Sometimes. And I just said it. That's what's sad is I just said it. It's like, okay, what am I doing? <laughs> I really like the twisting of the brush tip that you gave me. Yes. Yes. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in um, rusty nail. That's what I was trying to think. And guacamole, holy guacamole. And I'm just going to start bringing me some little tendrils. This is probably what I'll be known for when I die is my tendrils. I don't know what they are. Now, let me ask you, I do have a bigger liner brush, but it's a little bit frayed. Is that going to be okay? Or do I really want something clean for this? Um, you want something that's, if it's going to give you good lines, that's fine. Okay. You want something that's going to give you some good lines. I guess we'll just stick with this one. So, rusty nail, can I reach it? Yes, I can. Okay. So, you dipped it in rusty nail and farmhouse? Uh, rusty nail and holy guacamole. Ah, okay. um, you can add some farmhouse green in there, which would give you some lighter values. This is farmhouse green right here. And I'm just rolling it, you guys. I'm just letting it do what it's going to do. I'm not controlling that brush much. Um, I'm just going to let it kind of do, you know, it, it doesn't matter, honestly, which that one's got. So I got to come back in here and kind of fix that because I want that leaf to be over that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I think what I'll do is I'll go back in and, um, add some more leaves here so I don't have such a blob. <laughs> right. But in the and meantime, then, just right. come, randomly come out with the tendrils, huh? Yeah, just randomly, just let them do what they want to do. You're Alrighty. just, because you're going to be painting over a lot of this too. And you might do something. And that's the thing <sighs> about painting is you might do something and you might say, oh, maybe I want to do this. And then you figure out you don't want to do that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so what do you do? You just paint over it. Right. You know? And and that's the beauty of, of using um, a free type of um, a freedom in your paint is that, you know, is that you, you can do what you want to do. Now, here I've got this kind of that thick little <laughs> that brush we talked about earlier <laughs> yeah use that little brush and you are going to barely i mean i'm talking you don't want a lot of paint on it you know mm -hmm. you're just gonna you're just gonna tap it in you know you're just gonna like kind of tap some things in here and, and what color are you, are you i see you're using a lighter color I am using holy guacamole and I'll probably go into farmhouse. I really love farmhouse. Now that's, that's, well, no, I think farmhouse is too light. Let me go over it with holy guacamole. Okay. So barely any paint, holy guacamole. Right. And, and my idea here is probably maybe uh thinking that that you know there's these leaves but there's this other brush type stuff right coming in here you know and it, it just it's just going to fill this area up a lot and and if it if you feel like it's taken away which we might should have done this earlier or, or first but 
we can come back over it. You know, it's just, right. it's just given us a little bit of background. Well, and I can see myself going back just based on this right now and maybe adding more leaves over this. So just, is it like the background concept? Layering, yeah. layering, layering? Yes. Okay. Yes. And, you know, and that just fills that in, but you don't want it so filled in you can't see any of your background. Right. True. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You want to, you know, you want it just to look like, Yes, you we know, worked like, hard on that background. <laughs> we did. And, and you know, and you just want, kind of want this to feel kind of like there's movement down here. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. That that you're you're putting a, a basis for your florals to come out of, right? Right. Okay, so I'm going to get my straight brush here. It's just a straight brush, or you can use an angle. An angle is a good one for this. I just have been using this. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm just going to add me maybe a stem coming out of this. Okay, and your color choices are? And my color choices are back into the colored greens and, and uh, holy guacamole. I love holy guacamole. I actually have not used this color yet, but now that I'm seeing it on something, I can see, I can see, I have plenty of ideas for it. Right, right. And so, you know, we've got that in there now. And you can, can you kind of see how this is going to look backlit now? Can you kind of yes, see I how see it's it. going? To, yeah. So, um, you know, of course, we're going to layer all on top of this. And I'm trying to think maybe something that I feel like we could do pretty easily would be is if we got that, your little thick little brush that we talked about, the one that we just stippled with. Um, maybe if we clean that off a little bit. And let's go into, oh, you're going to have to probably run and get this. Uh, run and get some apricot, some um, plum crazy, pe uh, peony, maybe, oh, you already got the purple, the auburn game. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to do the ice cube tray trick. Yeah, it really oh my helps goodness. because you're using so many colors and yes. they, just run, they just run together. And while you're getting your pieces, I'm going to show everyone. We've got this kind of coming up through here. I am going to just on, on the side that the light will come in, I'm just going to add a little bit. And I don't get too worried, honestly. Um, you know, you just want you just want your, you know, your greenery to look not just one color. You know, you want to build that color out. Okay, so I think what I would like to do here is maybe we could put in, uh, I don't know, like a lilac, maybe a lilac type bundle, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm gonna go into my Plum Crazy and my Aber Aberdeen. <laughs> oh, I just can't, I cannot get that, I can't. That is okay. I'm trying. I'm you kidding. and about 79% of the world. <laughs> okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add and, and what I've got. Let me show you. I've got, I've got the um, Plum Crazy and Aubergine on here. And so, so I am going to pounce. 
I'm just going to pounce and I'm going to let this hang down. And we just, we, you're just going to build it little by little. You get your dark values in first. And maybe there's one coming up here and coming over. And all I'm doing is I'm going to pounce this in. I'm going to put my lighter on the top. And are you just kind of following the shape of the tendrils? Yeah. Well, not necessarily, because you can see here I went over a tendril. I'm just putting where I feel like they would, they would look good. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to come in with peony and where the light would go, I'm going to add the peony. And all I'm doing is I'm just lightly, you can see, I'm just lightly dabbing. Dab, lightly dab and pull off. Lightly dab and pull off. Very easy. But I'm leaving these a little dark because we've got light coming in and there's going to be other things over them, you know. And you can always come back in as you work on your piece. You can always come back in and add um, highlights as this dries. Actually, as they dry and when they're dry, you can you can really get you can really get them to really um, uh, pop mm -hmm. after this kind of dry. So like right. what I'll do sometimes if I'm, you know, of course, working by myself, I will come in here, I'll put me some blooms in, and then I might not worry too much about them. I'll just kind of get their shape and kind of work up here. And then as this dries, then I come back in and... Um, pounce in a lot of more highlights, you know, and all that does is that gives you definition. And um, so I'm, I'm kind of thinking that what I want to do now is I probably want to put another one in here, but I think I might use Uh, let's let's try this. It, it might be too drastic. I don't know. But you know how you've got the deep purple type and then you've also, um, you know, you've also got the lavender ones, you know. Um, so I might mix up a little lighter lavender one. And maybe I have a lavender one coming out here. Oh, wow. And all I did was I, I mixed um, fluff with aubergine to get it, you know, to get I never it. wanted my brush to be so frayed in my life. I'm sitting here like, I wish it were more frayed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, those are the good ones. Don't throw them out. I, you, I now know this. Yes. My you goodness. know, when you need when you need this type of uh, application, the old ones are, are perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, so I mean, I've kind of got that laid in there. It's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect for a while, you know. But it's okay. I've, I've kind of got it laid in there. And then as it dries, um, I'm coming in here with a little bit of, um, let's see, ap apricot. So I'm kind of doing some highlights while it's wet here in apricot. And it kind of, you know, oh, so we've wow. got a adding that up Wow. Yeah, we've, we've got a little bundle of that going on there, you know. And then um, 
we might want to, might be a good thing to do, is let's put some little daisies or something down here that's really kind of going to fill this out and pop this in a little bit. Um, so let me find a brush. Let's try this brush. So I'm just using just kind of a little straight brush. Oh, that's looking good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's looking good. And then as that dries, you'll be able to come back and add details into them. And I don't know if you guys can really see mine very well. Can you see it very well? Because I can't really tell, you know. But, you know, these are just a fun, I tried to pick flowers that are fun, uh -huh. um, easier to do, um, and that, you know, that you can walk away and feel um, successful. Yes. And you I know? definitely, I think that, I mean, this will definitely take some practice, but I can see it. I'm not yeah. going to walk away from this feeling like a failure, <laughs> you know, I feel like it's a, it's a big step in, in, in a very short amount of time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see just the amount of time that we've been working. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to come in with, um, I did a little bit of, um, a little bit of uh, colored greens and I did a little bit of fluff in it just to kind of lighten that up a little bit so that it's almost like a sagey green. Mm, okay. So this is kind of, I don't know if you can see the color, but it's kind of like a sagey mm -hmm. green. And I'm going to come in here and maybe we're going to have uh, a daisy type looking thing, you know, through here. And the reason why I, whenever I'm doing this type of a flower, the reason why I like to lay this down like this is because whenever I come over top of it with my daisy color and I've got kernel mustard seed, kernel mustard, I don't know seed on it. <laughs> Girl master, and I went into <laughs> I went into um, I went into fluff. So I've got kind of a yellow and a white loaded on my brush. You know. Okay, so take me back though. Hold on, okay. I didn't put the, the daisy base down. The uh... okay. So do do a little bit of. Um, colored greens and a little bit of fluff or just something that's going to lighten it up just a little bit. You could even okay. light, you, you know, you just want kind of a lighter color. You can almost see it looks gray right there. Uh -huh. Yes, just it does. Kind of a, kind of a gray kind color. Of what, stroked it on. Yeah. And then just kind of go in a little round, not totally round, but little, you know, um, irregular type of shapes because we're going to build into this. Okay. So just a, a couple few around there. And then tell me when you're ready and we'll start our petals. Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to come where we've laid those out and I've double laid, I've double loaded my brush. Oh, wait, I did not get curl mustard. Hold on. Okay. Go grab curl mustard. Okay. So you did say kernel mustard, right? Yes. Okay. And fluff. If you, if something white. Yeah, I've got drop cloth. I'll just use that. Yeah. Drop cloth's great. I'm going to miss mine a little bit because it's been waiting there a little while. Okay. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to lay a petal on. That's all I'm doing, laying a petal on. And if it doesn't like get exactly the way I want it, I'm not for sure if this is a good brush for this. Okay, and I'm probably not going to complete that flower. And the reason why is because I want to lay in a bunch of little flowers in here. 
And then when they're grouped in a group, you're not going to see, you're not going to see that particular flower. Now, sometimes if you're doing, you know, um, a whole thing, you know, you're going to see the whole flower, but I'm, I just want to do a little grouping here and we're going to have some petals. And when we add the center, it makes them, it makes it make sense. It doesn't right. make too much sense right now. And I'm going to change brushes. I don't think I'm happy with this brush. Your brush means a lot uh, when you're making it. So I changed to an angle brush. I'll we'll see if that works. Yeah, I mean, as I'm trying oh, to learn, yeah. I'm finding that to be true, that your brush is everything. It and is. I know that for furniture, but for this, you know, it's another yeah. animal, different animal, but yet a lot right, of the, the same, same concepts apply, right? Exactly. It's the same. And so by adding, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but by adding that gray kind of color underneath, it's given a basis for these flowers to make them look haphazard, to make them look like they're just kind of in a, you know, in a grouping here. And you can just kind of see I'm just laying in petals, you know. Okay, so that's my little grouping. I think it's cute. So I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to get coffee bean. Uh, and I'm going to make kind of a center here. I'm going to make maybe a center here, maybe a center right there. And all I'm doing is dabbing it in. And then all of a sudden it makes all of these little groupings make sense. You look at that and you go, oh, that's a grouping. Now right here I can tell I need a petal coming out and that's kind of going to go over that petal you know what i'm saying wow. how easy so can you kind of see that i can i i wow so and you've just got this cute little bunch of flowers here so then i'm just going to run because your flowers don't want to be floating in air so i'm just going to run with um, maybe some um, um, coffee bean and holy guacamole and just add me a bunch of little stems coming down here. Are we back to the liner brush? Yeah. Okay. Just back to the liner brush and as you just, and, and they're just going to be, you know, they're just nothing real, you know, they're just kind of there. You're not going to see where they come. You're not going to see where they end. They're just there. They're just defining. They're just defining this clump of flowers. And, you know, if you wanted to, you could come down here and maybe one's kind of fallen. You know what I mean? Oh, yes. You know, you might have some little petals through here that's just kind of fallen. You know, and it just kind of adds a little to your painting. That one just kind of down there. And um, so we kind of got this going. I feel like there needs to be something there. And I think if we go in with an angle brush and go with some type of blue color that you like, uh, I really love um, antebellum blue. That's oh, one of my that's a favorite of mine. It is mine too. So I don't know if you want to maybe grab a little antebellum blue. Sure. Hold on. And, and maybe some type of a light blue also. What was that? I'm sorry. A light blue also. Okay. Hold on just a sec. Okie doke. I have to keep unplugging my earphones. I couldn't figure out my Bluetooth ones. Again, I said that yesterday, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still stuck. Okay, I always one. figure something out and then forget it by the next time I have to do it. <laughs> yes, I have 
have to tell you, I rewatched our live from yesterday because I'm like, I, in the moment, did what I did on this background, but uh -huh. I don't think I actually absorbed what I did. So yeah. the good thing about this is that I can replay it, replay my own live. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I do that, that live that I did, that I uh, painted and I did it fast. I've probably watched that four or five times and, and I learn from it every time I, I watch it, not because it's me, but just because I see, okay, so I did that and I got right. that result or I, you know, cause sometimes when I'm painting, I just start painting and just go with it, you right. know? Um, you know, I mean, so you know, I'm just looking at some of the comments here. Um, okay. Pamela is suggesting a tiny bird or nest. I see a butterfly or a bee or a frog. Okay. <laughs> um, Susan says, hate blue. Susan, I grabbed Savannah Mist because that was, because honestly, I'm almost out of it and I don't mind if I contaminate it, if I cross contaminate right. it. Um, right. And I have the antebellum. So, what are we doing with those colors? I'm excited. Okay, I love it. so right over here, I think we need maybe another little, I don't know, you know, just just maybe some little more petals. You know, yeah, just you just do a bunch of petals together. Okay. You know, and maybe we can run them some stems there. Uh, I think I've got the golf and antebellum together. And I'm I'm wanting that antebellum to come out, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes I just paint stuff that kind of looks like flowers, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks good, you know. And so, you know, I'm coming in here and I'm laying in just a little bit of highlights with, with my... Oh, can you that just blue is beautiful. See? Yeah, see? It just kind of, it's free, it's easy. I don't know what they are, but you know what? They look good, so I'm fine with it. You know, and I'm going to come in here with uh, colored greens and antebellum blue. And I'm just going to run me a couple little stems down here. And there you go. You've got you a clump of cute little flowers right there that, <laughs> that I don't know what they look like. So, but they are cute. I like them, you know. And again, we always want to go with evens or we always want to go with odds. You know, like we've got three florals right here. You know, we've got a bunch right here. So it doesn't matter. You can't even count those. Uh -huh. We've got three right here. You can do five. You can do nine. You always or seven. You know, you always want to keep them for some reason. The eye loves um, uneven numbers. It, it, it just... It just makes sense for us. Interesting. I suppose that would be yeah. uh, just like photography, the rule of thirds. For example, composi uh, composition, you're never supposed to dead center a photograph. You want to slightly put it off to the side. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Same thing. Same thing. Even with painting, it brings interest to your to your um, piece and, and your eyes just... You know, so you can see in this short of a time and we I mean, I've been kind of teaching. So, you know, it's taken us this far to get this long, you know, get this much done. But if if I wasn't teaching, I could probably have had this whole thing pretty well done. Right. You know what I mean? Because it once you get it down, it can be very fast. Mm hmm. You know, Um. So I wanted to show this little board that I painted before. And here's some, you know, you can see our daisies. We've already done that. We're going to do some messy roses. You can just kind of see they're roses, but they're just kind of messy. I love and then those. here's here's some lazy suit. I don't know. What are those called? Um, they're almost like a... a um, not really a daisy. Um, what are they called? Something I have Susan's. no idea. <laughs> They're called something Susan. I forget. Maybe someone who's watching will know. Yeah, maybe. You know. So I'm terrible we've got, with we've got our I... lilacs right here. So we've already done a bunch of 
uh, you know, our background and, and then we've got already done three types of flowers, you know? So we're going to go up here now and let's do a base. I always walk, when I'm working, I always do uh, kind of my shape of my flower and I'm not worried about detail as much as I am just getting a general shape for my flower. Okay. You know, and you can either go a, a light base or you can go a dark base. It doesn't really matter. I normally tend to go a dark base. So do you have plum crazy? I have, yes, I have that on my plate actually. Okay, great. So I'm thinking maybe we want to have a rose right here. Okay, what brush am I grabbing? Uh, just, I've got an angle brush. You can use a flat brush. And I'm just going to kind of put me the shape of a rose, you know, just kind of get my sides, uh, size there. And um, do you have like a light blue or anything? I have Savannah Mist Handy. It's not come out as light okay. as I had hoped, but. Okay, that's okay. But that's okay, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to slap a rose contour yeah. on there. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. just going to do, yep, you're just going to do a contour on here. And you can al already see, I put just a little bit of, um, of uh, the gulf on there. And you can almost, you, you're, you know, you're starting to see kind of it coming out right there, you know, and you're just getting a shape. Let's go back to the plum crazy and maybe we want one right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this kind of my, try to get it you know, my rose where I kind of want it as far as a shape is concerned, you know, and you've always got the bowl of your rose, you know, that comes down here and it's all according to how you want this rose. I want to turn this way toward the light, you know, this one's going back this way. Um, so now on this, uh, now, Susan says a black eyed Susan, I think, is yes, yellow and that's brown what middle. I was thinking. <laughs> so did Marsha, black eyed Susan. Yes. Yeah, I was I was saying Susan something. <laughs> I just kidding. <laughs> it's a black eye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I got aubergine and I put it right here as my center. I'm going to decide where my centers are and I'm going to come in. You can, I'm just using this color. You can use whatever other color you want. Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of going to put a little circle there, not kind of more of an oblong circle, you know, kind of let that dry a little bit. Kind of let this dry a little bit. And then maybe and I'm just kind of, you know, going to draw me some um, stems. And I'll come in here and um, put, you know, a little bit of that base of that rose. That's too bright. Uh, let me go back in here. <laughs> Susan says, lazy Susan. That is honestly what I was thinking, Susan, lazy Susan, but I didn't say <laughs> it because I knew that it was wrong. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with plants, right? <laughs> okay, so now we've got these two little forms here, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to come in to apricot. And I'm still using my um, angle brush. And I'm just going to use the tip of it, you know. And I'm just going to bring, come in, and I'm going to bring in, just lightly bring in some ideas 
of um, the petals. Can you see how easy that is? Sure. <laughs> and then I, uh, I have a hard hand or a rough hand or whatever yeah, the word is, is for not yeah. being very delicate. Yeah, that is one thing that you learn when you're painting, honestly, is uh -huh. that the softer the hand that you can do things with, the less work you have to do. Sure. So you can just kind of see that's just a simple, simple, I call them messy roses. You know? Well, mine is indeed messy. <laughs> but if it's not exactly, whoop. It's too wet. Let me dry it off. If it's not exactly where you want it at, that's okay because, you know, that's the beauty of paint. You can come back and you can do whatever you want. Right. <laughs> and, you know, and you can make it, you can make it really work, you know, and that's just a, a but you get the idea that it is a rose, you know. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I'll probably come in the center and just kind of do a little bit of a round thing, you know, and just kind of make that, do you see how that made that look like the center of your rose? Right, you, by highlighting it, right? Yeah, see, you can kind of see um, that it goes in there. So, um, you know, um, when you're, well, maybe we'll do one of those because so I can show you. Um, so that is just as simple as it gets. We're going to come over here and do the same thing. You know, and you can even put the petal coming down like this around your bowl, you know. Um, but these are not defined roses. Whenever you do a defined rose, you really have to work on your laying your petals. That's the reason why I wanted to do these because yes. they're easy to do and you feel like you've, you've made a rose. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it makes you feel like you could do more, you know, and that's how I, I want everyone leaving is feeling like, oh, I can do that. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah, I could do that. You know? I think with practice, my roses will get better with this theory. But I told you in the beginning, even your leaves were a lot easier than the way that I have attempted to learn to do leaves. Yeah. Well, because you know what? I'm not worried about them. Right, you right. know, I'm, not, you know, and, and in traditional painting, and, and that's really um, the reason why Bob Ross was such a awesome uh, artist was because you didn't have to take traditional painting. You could not even paint and be able to paint this beautiful mountainscape, you know, following his, um, you know, his instruction, right, you know, right. and you could do it quick and you could do it easy. And you came out of that class feeling good about yourself, you know, and feeling like, Hey, I can paint, you know, I can mm -hmm. do this. Okay. So we're doing again, a grouping of threes and we've got three roses right here. Wow. All in our pinks. And um, this one's kind of going a different. And by, th by throwing in a little bit of this blue color, you know, it just kind of gives it kind of a whimsical little look, you know. Definitely. I think. I think. And use your fingers. Let your fingers do some blending. Let your fingers walk Oh, I, I could... Now, finger paint, I can do. <laughs> there you go. Um, and, and sometimes your angles get you because this isn't an angle that I'm feeling very comfortable with. But 
you know what? It's a messy rose. It doesn't matter. As long as I get that feeling of going around, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you glance at it, you're going to say, oh, you know, that's a rose. Maybe there's a couple petals um, hanging out there, you know. And, I, you know, to me, the beauty of painting is that sometimes you do something and, and you look at it and you go, well, how did I achieve that? Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, because you're going, wow, how did how did I make that look good? You know, I don't know how I did that, you know. I uh, sometimes I'll look at my old projects, the old furniture projects and think, huh, how did I do that? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And, and, um, you know, I want everyone to feel like they can, they can paint. Um, and then sometimes in the middle of your roses, you're going to have, I'm going to go into Colonel Mustard Seed, or Colonel Mustard Seed, <laughs> Colonel Mustard. And, um, you know, some of the roses, you know, have centers you know they do have a little bit of centers maybe i won't do that on this one because this one doesn't really have a center it is just a rose but some of the like um, the knockout roses and stuff you know even though they're roses they have that center you know almost you know like the different flowers but see mm -hmm. that blue putting that little bit of blue can you see how that draws your yes. eyes up and it, and it causes it to kind of just look, um, it's looking pretty. So you know? I'm likely going to go back and add a couple more roses, probably a grouping of five, because mine are kind of weirdly spaced out. <laughs> yeah, you need one. You know, I kind of put mine together. You definitely, right. I think you definitely, yeah, need, need. Just to, add a couple more. Yeah. Yeah, because I can see the spacing for them. Yes. Or, or you can do something else coming up behind them. You oh, know, that's and that's the thing that you got to remember is that you can do all kinds of, you know, a flower that I absolutely love to do. And it's a weed, but I just love um, the... Uh, Queen Anne's lace, um, you know? Yes. No. It's I'm like trying the, to remember which one that is. It's like the white, like you see them growing along the road and they just kind of look like caps, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put me a Queen Anne's lace right up here. And all I'm doing is I'm going to get that thick little uh, paintbrush again. And, and they almost look like caps. Oh, yes. I know exactly what those are. We used to dye them as kids. I grew up on the East Coast and they grew like crazy. And we would oh, put them in food coloring. Oh, I was going to ask coloring. you, where are you from originally? Often originally. I knew it. <laughs> it I comes it. out every once in a while. <laughs> I've been here for Arizona, uh, I don't even know, 20 plus years. So, But oh, it wow. does come out every once in a while. <laughs> Okay, so I'm all I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit just for um, I'm I'm going into my white into my fluff, and I'm just adding a little bit, and that's just kind of like a little cap, and then I'm going to come back with my liner, and I am going to connect those. Because Queen Anne's lace, if you remember, they have those little lines. Mm -hmm. Remember that? They kind of come down. But this is a fun flower to make. And it's an easy flower. And that's why I chose some of the choices that I have. Because they're easy to make. They're fun to make. And they look so pretty. So we've got that coming just right down here. So you can kind of just see. There's your Queen Anne's lace. Look how easy that was. Okay, now um, 
if I was going to, and I'll probably make another one, and it'll be maybe a little, oh goodness, that's a blob. <laughs> I blobbed that. Okay, so what do you do when you make a mistake like that? Because, see, that's the thing, is you think, oh, well, artists don't make mistakes. Yeah. I would freak out. It's ruined. Yeah. Nope, not ruined. <laughs> I'm glad you did that, actually. Yeah. Not ruined. All I'm going to do, can you see how I'm blending that right back in? Uh-huh. Not ruined. But <clears throat> I do want to do less paint make sure my paint is just on my ends okay so on this one since i'm going to do a baby um i'm just going to kind of i think my problem is i need a smaller head i've got one that's smaller let me see if i can find it <coughs> but i love those crusty old old ones because you can really get some good um uh use out of them have fun susan susan said hubby wants to watch tv oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're taking so long but it's fun it's fun i can go with the band i'm telling you all right, so I got me a different paintbrush that's smaller, but it's still that fat little thing. It's just smaller. All right. So we're just going to come in here and add a, a baby one. Maybe there's one up here. And you choose where you want your flowers to be. You know, you might not want your flowers the same place mine are. Mm -hmm. And you well, might not want the same flowers that I do. So we've got those over there. And sometimes those have a um, you know, kind of their stem is kind of like hairy. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it feels hairy, you know. <laughs> That's the way I can put it. So I just came into colored greens and um, holy guacamole, and I'm just kind of adding this longer stem. Maybe adding a little bit of those colors up in there. But you can see how free and easy that is. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You know, you don't get bogged up in art theory. You don't get bogged up in what you can and you can't well, let do. let me ask you. This is kind okay. of what, like I'm just watching you. And Who's to say I can't put a hairy stem on a rose if I wanted? Exactly. Exactly. Oh. And... I'm like, I might just do that. I really like the look of your hairy, your hairy stem. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I just think that that's the beauty of painting like this is because you decide what you want to do, mm -hmm. you know, and you, and you do it and, you know, yeah, these look like roses, but you know, they're messy little roses, you know, they don't have a lot of, of, of detail but that's okay right you know because i am going to do um a rose that is very detailed you know i actually have my canvas out to do it and i want it to be large and in charge mm -hmm. you know right and um and that one will be very detailed It'll, you'll see all of the things okay so um, so we've got these little guys, these little guys, you know, so we've done one, two, three, four, five yes. different types, you know, of, of, um, florals. Um, let's, 
let's maybe do because this is kind of a fun one to do and then I mean, girl, I can paint all night, so it's up to you to how tired you get. I would say one more. I'm not a night person. <laughs> okay. I'm losing right. steam. But okay. show me one more, and then what I think I want to do is just kind of take it from here and see what I come up with. Absolutely. And so present here's it to I, you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So just get you some... Um, Orange. Yeah. And we're Pretty. just going to, I'm going to place them. I don't want them too close. Right. All right. I got to reach so for the orange. Yeah. Just kind of a circle type deal. What color orange are you using? What, I... uh, this is um, Rusty Nail. Oh, okay. Because it's come. All right. I got that too. The lighting, it's kind of hard to see sometimes. You yeah, know? it really is. Yeah. Because well, so, like, that looks more like a blood orange. All right. Yeah, it's rusty nail. All right. I have rusty nail right here. Yeah. And then uh, I'm going to come into peony. And I'm going to come into apricot. I'll let you get those. And we can add, we can add those butterflies and stuff later. You want to get all of your roses and everything. Right. Later, and then you can do what you want to do. Okay? Right. So here we go. I'm going to start with the center one. And I'm just going to come in and pull down. And that right. is? This is going to be kind of our Lazy Susan. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I've got two Lazy Susan. Um, I did that again. Um, um, what Eyed colors Susan. are you using? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to use Plum Crazy, Peony. And then I'm going to come back in and highlight them. I'm going to put my... I'm going to put my uh, petals on first, Okay. you know, coming up. And they you don't do them on this side. They kind of hang down. Okay. You know, so I'm just going to go into Plum Crazy, and I'm just going to do me some petals. And you can kind of see they're going to cross over there. Then I'm going to come back with fluff and um, um, fluff and um, oh, apricot. See, you can just see how fast I added those in. Right. Just building them out a little bit. And I think I want that one to go over top of that one. You know what I mean? And then when you get those in, and see, I don't like that at all. So I'm going to change it. I think this one has to kind of go over that one to look right. Um, and you can kind of see as that is um, drying out, the center's drying out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come it down here and I'm going to put, just kind of put, you know, go around that circle to define and I'm doing that with caviar just a mix of caviar and and that's just going to define oh, where these petals yes go. you see how that's defining my center
And then I'll probably go into kernel mustard and just kind of put some little dots here. All right. And um, there's been times where I've done something and then got up the next morning and said, oh, man, I don't like that at all. <laughs> and you just change it. I mean, As have you, I. <laughs> you just change it. If you don't like it, you change it. And right. you, can, you can do that with them. You saw how easily I fixed that boo-boo. Let's say mm -hmm. I got up in the morning and I go, oh, I don't like the position of them. Or maybe they're too close. I'm thinking they're too close together. I think this one needs to go bye-bye and needs to come down here. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I think. And I might even do a couple more because I don't want to just stay with threes. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. Because that's going to look kind of silly. Right. So, um, but before we leave, I will tell you this, Bianca, something that you can do. Let's say you've got a dead space in your painting. And it's really not enough to put a bunch of flowers in. That's where you can go in and you can do your little wispy oh, branches yes. and stuff. See? And they just add, you know, and I always try to come back and do some highlighting on them, you know, on the one side. And it just, just kind of adds a little interest. Mm -hmm. uh, that needs to be darker there coming up through here and it just kind of adds that in maybe it's going to go over that lilac down here right so that's that's the joy of painting <laughs> <laughs> See, but you can kind of see how that backlight, and I'm going to put another flower right here. I'm not for sure what I'm going to put. Uh -huh. be a but then you can kind of see where that blob then is given a backlight down here. Can you see how that, that makes it? Right. Um, I just like that. I like that look. You know? That's beautiful. So there we go, sis. Well, I love it. Thank you so much. I just so have one question. How do you question. like your first flower paint, your first flower it's, tutorial? It's a work in progress, but I feel like I have, I have something here. Right. Oh, that's looking pretty. Looking really pretty. I, I yeah. am learning as I go. Like I need to somehow figure out a way to um, lighten up on my strokes. Yes. You know, I, I tend to hulk out on things. <laughs> right. Right. Well, and that's just all part of learning, honestly. Mm -hmm. That is all part of learning. And I will show you this before we leave real quick, because it'll take me like two minutes. Okay. If that. But um, now that these are all fully dried, I just want you to see the difference of when you come in with your highlight. Oh, yeah, definitely. See? You know, it just, you're just building that. And it makes this flower, you know, makes these lilacs come to life when you add your, your highlight on there. Definitely. You know, it makes them just come to life. And you build, that's the thing about it is you build your paintings. You know, they're, you know, that old saying, Rome wasn't done in a day. Well, neither were right. paintings, you know. You know, but you can see the life that that brings in to those lilacs. And are you using a smaller brush this time around? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like that. Yeah. And um, I'll probably go back in and add a little more dark in here. You know, because you don't want your dark to all go away. Right. But then, then by by going back and forth, you know, then it really does give it that feeling of life. You know. Right. Right. So you can see how 
how different they look now when you add your highlights. So that's kind of fun. Going to fun. <laughs> well, I think right. I'm on to something here and I'm excited to uh, come back at it tomorrow. I think with a fresh brain. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And just see what I get. Um, is anybody watching? Were you guys working on canvases with us? Um, if you were, we would love to see if you want to share with us. Oh, absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. Absolutely. So as you can see through this video that, you know, of course, it took us, it took us a long, a lot longer, but still sure. it's only not quite an hour and a half. And look how much you've accomplished in an hour mm -hmm. and a half, you know, whereas before you probably would have been struggling with one flower. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So this is an easier way to accomplish a lot, but it still looks pretty. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It looks pretty. And the more you do it, the quicker you get. And right. boom, 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 you are off and running. Well, and I'm actually looking forward to doing this some more on my own and developing my own absolutely. style. You know, absolutely. my hand is going to obviously do something different than what you you've got going on. So. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you can take what you've learned here and you can expound on it and yes. tweak things a little bit. And before you know it, I mean, you'll be, it's just great. I mean, I'm just yeah. telling you painting to me is so number one, relaxing because I've taken mm -hmm. out all of the bars and I've said, you know what, I'm going to create what I can create inside of me and whatever right. comes out, it's okay. You right. Know? And, um, you know, I mean, I didn't like those um, Black Eyed Susans when I did them, but now that I'm looking at them and they're drying, I kind of like them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They're, You know, mm -hmm. and that's the good thing, too, is just give yourself time. You can always come back and you can always right. work on it. Right. You know? So, well, thanks for having me on, girl. I don't know if I that guess the light's just good. reflecting off of it, but. Oh, I can see. That is looking great. And people are saying they love both. So thank you guys all. Oh, good. Awesome. 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 Yes. Okay. So if you guys have any further questions, um, I guess just drop them in the comments. We'll try to get back to you. I thank Absolutely. you guys all for watching. Um, yeah. I'm so not a night person. I'm like, <sighs> <laughs> and I'm just getting going. <laughs> I, know, I know. I get up. So like the sun's not even up and I'm like, bing, let's start my day. You know, <laughs> oh, wow. well, you know what? But you it was worth it. Accomplished than I do. Because, you know, if I was up working the whole time that I was up, then, yeah, I would get a lot accomplished. But then about this time of night, I'm thinking, oh, I'm just going to rest a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> or I just keep on painting. You right, know? right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, well, this has been so fun. fun. You are a fabulous teacher. Um, I really feel like I've learned a lot and a lot of valuable Good. information. Good. And I'm going to go back and rewatch this live. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Because you'll learn more. I, I will. Do too. I will. It's kind of like taking notes from school. <laughs> sometimes I'll go and watch someone's live four or five, six times and uh -huh. glean from it because you can always learn. We are always learning. And when we quit learning, that's when we've we've quit growing. Right. You know? Absolutely. So, Absolutely. And I just had an idea. I think that and now that I'm looking at this, I think some um I forget what they're called, but they're, they're the something bells. I can always remember the last one. <laughs> but you know, the kind that they just kind of, they just kind of fall over. Yeah, like. I actually know. I, do they look like little, little cups maybe? That, yeah, they're like yeah. little cups. And I just kind of can see those just kind of coming down here on this. Ooh, yeah. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All well, right, thank sweetie. So thank much. you for I having me you. on. Absolutely. And you guys, thank you so much for watching and hanging in there. And again, if you're trying this technique or you have a canvas of your own going, 
show us. We would love to see it. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. You can always you can always message me. I'm always willing to help, you know, and I know yeah. Bianca is too. And mm -hmm. so, you know, this is what it's all about. We just learn Unity. together. Yes. Cool. Well, thank you guys. Awesome. And thank you, Miss Carolyn. Okay. We All shall right. chat at a later date when I have something to present to you, teacher. Okay, awesome. All right, <laughs> All right honey, I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> I think it's done.